Alright, hello again Movie Club. This is going to be my review of Sex Drive. Normally I would wait a day to, you know, let the movie sink in a little more. Don't have the time, really busy, so I'll just get right to it. Uh, I remember when this movie first came out in theaters, but I have, but I didn't see it. Because to me it just looked like another raunchy teen sex comedy, which I'm not really a fan of in general. So I skipped out. I've had friends you know, who thought the movie was hilarious, I thought it was awesome, but I usually have kind of different tastes. So I never really planned on I never really planned on ever watching it. Uh but after watching this movie, I was surprised. This movie was a lot better than I thought it would be. It was pretty good. Uh a lot better than I expected it would um I'll get to the good stuff first, or the parts I like about it first. Um, you know, Seth Green. Seth Green is hilarious in anything he does. Uh, in fact, that I was a little bit disappointed because he's not in the movie all that often. Um, you know, he's in there for a short time. I loved his character, the sarcastic Amish man. Uh, it's a lot of fun. Um, you know, the entire time you're kind of wondering, is he serious or is he just being a smartass? Which, Seth Green is great in playing. He's great at being the smartass. Um, and also, for characters that I liked, I also really liked, and I also really liked the two guys who we see periodically throughout the movie, who just hit on everyone that they see. And I know it's really, like, you know, juvenile, and I don't know, it's kind of raunchy not really but yeah I know it's juvenile but I don't care I thought it was funny um that being said for all like you know the humor and all but there were parts that I didn't necessarily like the storyline it's predictable you I knew what was going to happen throughout the entire movie the only part that really threw me off guard was the climax of it where you know you know in the end that He's going to get the girl. He's going to choose his best friend over the girl he met online. But all the crazy shit that happens at the end, I mean, I did not see that coming. At all. Uh, uh, but for things I really didn't like, and this applies to any really... And this applies to any movie pretty much made in the last five to ten years where they always have to throw in like the awkward sex scenes and I fucking hate those those are horrible you just want them to get you just want those awkward sex scenes to be over with and it's like especially the beginning of this movie and that made me think that this movie was really gonna suck it made me think that this movie was really going to suck because I really you know after seeing that for like the first 10 minutes of the movie I'm like oh my god is this gonna be the entire movie but thankfully it wasn't it picked up after the first like 10 minutes and it really got going uh, another thing I didn't really like obviously I'm not really a big fan of like having like the douchebag bad guys in the first place because they're kind of just so stereotypical and like the big brother you know Obviously, I guess you could say he kind of gets his comeuppance in the end because he turns out, hey, he really is gay, but I didn't really think so because he's being a dick throughout the entire movie to everyone. I want to see him get his ass kicked. I mean, okay, yeah, he like gets hit in the face with a, with a gun and then he has like a cut on his nose. So what? Somebody kick his ass. I don't care if the brother shoot him in the leg for all I care. He did it to the other guy. Uh, last thing I wanted to talk about. I mean, and this is surprising. This is the third movie I've seen in the movie club, and I've only been in the movie club. I've only done reviews for like three, four weeks. This is the third movie I've seen that had like a bunch of tits in this movie. And don't get me wrong, big fan of the tits. <laughs> no, no lie. But I mean, damn. And you can tell it was they were they wanted to show enough so that everyone would be happy but enough so that they could avoid the you know NC-17 rating it was pretty obvious because you know you would think at the end you would see 
the online girl's tits, but you don't. But throughout the entire movie, time after time after time, more and more tits. Uh, all in all, if you're a fan of, you know, sex comedies, I would definitely recommend this movie. Obviously, there would be a lot of people that probably wouldn't like this. they find it juvenile, you know, kind of raunchy. I, don't, I didn't mind it that much. Usually, I'm a stickler for comedy movies, too. But I really enjoyed this, and I would definitely recommend this movie. I'm out. Peace.